Hello students, this is Mr. Keeney from Oakview Middle School. Today we're learning how to do some solid modeling or 3D CAD design using a new software called Tinkercad. So you can follow along with me in order to learn how to get logged on properly. First thing you do is type in the website, tinkercad.com, T-I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D.com, and it'll open up to a window that looks like this. It's really important that you never click the word sign up because that will have guide you through some steps that you don't want to have to do. You already have a school account by clicking the blue login button. So I'm going to do that. And then it's going to open up this panel and you're going to find the green button that's called student accounts and click on that one time. And then you're going to choose sign in with Google that will access your already created account. When Tinkercad opens up, yours will look a little bit different than mine because I've been drawing with Tinkercad for several years, but it will look something like this when it opens up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have a couple choices depending on what your teacher wants you to do. If they want you to get started right away on your project, you're just gonna click new, and then click 3D design, and then it will open up a brand new window that has a blank work plane, which is kind of like your graph paper that you're gonna draw on, and it'll have some shapes over here on the side. We're gonna learn more about that in a separate video. If you ever need to get back to the main page or when it's time to log out, you're going to click up in the top left corner on the nine colorful Tinkercad squares, and that will bring you back to the Tinkercad homepage. Now that I'm back to the homepage, if I wanna log out, I will click on the robot guy in the top right corner, and then I'm gonna say log out. I'm not gonna do that yet, because one of the other options that your teacher might have for you is to go to the resources tab, and under the resources tab, there is a learning library with lots and lots of tutorials to learn how the Tinkercad software works. The ones that I like the best, you have to click where it says view all. And I like the ones called place it, view it, move it, rotate it, size it, group it, copy it, duplicate it, and align it. And those are the basic skills on how to change what the shapes look like to make your very own creation. So I'm going to go back and I'm gonna to go to my nine Tinkercad squares so I can get back to the home page. And now you're ready to watch the next tutorial. <laughs> 